What's up, my beautiful entrepreneurs? We all know as business owners that when it comes to your scent profile, it is extremely crucial and can really make or break whether or not someone is going to purchase your products. So how do we elevate our scents to make sure that we have all the elements that we need to make sure that our scents are the best that they can be and are unique to us and our business? Well, I have that covered for you today in this video. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get right into the video. Now when it comes to making scents, there can be a lot that goes into it. And if you're looking to create a scent profile, I do have a video that goes a little bit more in depth on the three different stages of your scents and how to really create a scent profile. But I wanted to look at a few scents and, and see how you can make your own scent, but also how can you elevate a scent a little bit more from a basic scent to make it a little bit more elevated so that you don't feel like you wasted your money on a particular scent that you've purchased. I know that there's a lot of scents that I have purchased that were, a, it's a full scent, so everything's supposed to already be in there. You're supposed to have all of your components, but sometimes there are some elements of that scent that are missing that is, is not the exact scent that you're looking for, so you end up needing to mix scents. So I'm gonna share with you ways that you can mix your scents to make them a little bit stronger and to have notes that you are looking for. Now one of the first scent profiles I wanna go over is gonna be Cotton Candy. Now this is a really popular one that a lot of people seem to use during this time of year. So that would be a really great way to see how you can really elevate a cotton candy scent. Now, when I purchased, when I was thinking about doing cotton candy, I purchased two different cotton candies from two different um, stores. So the first one that I got was very, very sweet. Like it, it just smelled like sugar just straight sugar and I'm like this is what they call a cotton candy like this is not cotton candy like I don't know M maybe it's just candy but that's just it and then the second one just had like this really strong blue raspberry scent to it and it was just really strong it just smelled like sugar like it didn't really have much depth to it neither one of them really smelled like cotton candy to me at all and had those like elements that you would normally be looking for so a way to elevate the cotton candy um, would be to add in some like more depth to it that has like more of those sugary sweet notes that you would normally get out of cotton candy. So what I did was I took the cotton candy that was that was like strong in the sugar because you need that scent overall. So I'm going to put that in at 65%. And then I'm going to add in a strawberry because like when you think about cotton candy, there is a strong like strawberry or like berry note in there. So I think strawberry would be a great way to add in and elevate that cotton candy scent. So I'm going to add in strawberry and that's going to be at uh, 20%. Then you're going to add in vanilla. Now vanilla is a really great way to really elevate the scent that you have. Now this is gonna be like a more of like a floral vanilla so it has more of like a sweet note to it and it goes really well with like your more sweet scents. So I'm gonna use that and that is going to be 10%. Then you have an ending 5% left for your overall formula. And this is where you're going to add in musk. Now fix your face, don't look at me like that, Musk is a really great way to elevate your scents. Musk can really round out that sweet note that you have and really balance it to really smell great on your skin because musk is like a natural scent that you already have and it's something that will elevate the scent and really make it a strong scent that will be different and unique to your brand and not be an average cotton candy that you may see out there. Now, I was talking to a client and she was trying to figure out a scent to create for her product line and she really wanted to do a like blueberry crumble and she had already bought a blueberry crumble fragrance from a company and she just felt like it was really flat and there wasn't much depth to it so we kind of worked together to figure out how we can make the scent a little bit stronger and add some more depth to the scent now a particular fragrance that I have in my arsenal that I always keep around because this fragrance will really help to elevate almost any scent that you have now I'm gonna reveal this fragrance at the end of this uh, scent profile, so stay with me here. Now, after you have like that standard blueberry crumble, what you're gonna to wanna to do is also add in like a pound cake. This Now this pound cake scent is really strong in like the 
buttery, warm vanilla scent. And again, that vanilla, that's gonna really help to elevate that crumble scent that you already have in the first fragrance. So you have that warmness, that vanilla, that cakey uh, fragrance that you always know. Your house is going to smell like a bakery when you're done with this one. So you're gonna have that fragrance that you're looking for. And then after you've added in that pound cake, you're gonna add in blueberry. Now this is like a blueberry jam that's gonna have like that more sweetness but it's gonna also bring in more you know more of that blueberry that you need for a blueberry crumble because if it's a flat scent that you're gonna need to elevate that blueberry a little bit more and bring in a little bit more sweetness but also have that berry scent as well now once you've added all those together this is going to be the way to really round out this fragrance. And this is going to be oak milk and honey. Now oak milk and honey, it may not seem like a scent that you would normally use or have, but this is a scent that has a lot of depth to it. You're gonna have notes of cinnamon. There's like jasmine in there. You have that oat smell that you would normally, like that you would normally have in that crumble that's gonna elevate that pound cake a little bit more as well. Then you have more musk that's in there as well so it's a really rounded scent profile that's really great as a base to really help elevate all the other scents that you already have definitely look into oak milk and honey i will have that linked down below so you can try it out because i definitely think it's something that you can definitely add and you can really um, experiment with to really elevate your fragrances as far as the percents go so when you have your basic uh, base blueberry crumble that's going to be at 65 percent then you're going to take the pound cake uh scent and you're going to have that at 20 percent then you're going to have the blueberry jam at 10 percent and then the oat milk and honey is going to be at five percent of the overall formula now this is very similar to the first scent profile but that's because you're going to really find that this is going to really help to elevate a scent that you already have the whole point of this is to help you elevate scents that you've already purchased and you feel like you may um, waste but you can still use to elevate the scent you have other ingredients that you can use to elevate it to make it more of a well-rounded scent overall so you'll find that if you use the majority of that base that you already have you all the other percentages will help to elevate that scent to make it more well-rounded all right this next scent profile is going to be for my natural girlies that just want to have a natural scent that's just essential oils now, this is a really great way to elevate this as well now i love lavender i think lavender is a great scent and a lot of um like natural body butter companies use lavender as a base scent but a really great way to change up the lavender and not make it just a basic lavender scent is by adding in um essential oil uh, vanilla and sandalwood now these are both scents that have really good sweetness that it can add to the lavender but also bring in a little bit of musk and like that wood scent that's like more like natural and it just feels um it feels like more relaxing to use so i would think i think that a vanilla and sandalwood along with your lavender will really bring the lavender out a little bit more um really add in more of like a woody um more natural scent to it you just want to be careful when it comes to essential oils when you're using things uh like um any like orange essential oils or like those lemon essential oils because they photosynthesize in the sun so you want to make sure that you're not adding um, any fragrance or essential oils i should say that's going to damage the skin or be damaging to your customer in any way shape or form this lavender scent the scent profile is going to be a little bit different because you want the lavender to really be the overall focal point for this scent your lavender is going to be at 80 percent of the overall formula you're going to have your vanilla essential oil and that's going to be at 15 percent and then your sandalwood is going to be at five percent of the overall formula <laughs> now i added in the vanilla and the sandalwood because the lavender was too strong for my liking i didn't want that strong of a lavender scent so i decided to look in to see if there was any vanilla essential oil or any other essential oil that can help balance out that scent and i found the vanilla essential oil and sandalwood and i started to kind of play with putting those scents together to see what i got and i really love the way that the scent profile smells because the lavender is not too strong and you really get that nice balance of all of the scents all together and it's a really great alternative to just having straight lavender and that's it.
I find creating your fragrance to be the most fun part of creating these products and I love creating scent profiles. There's a lot of depth that goes into creating a scent profile as well. If you wanna learn more about how to create a scent profile and the more elements that go into doing so, then watch this video here where I show you the pyramid of creating your scents and everything that goes into creating the scent profile for you and your brand and I'll catch you in the next one.